The Bush family's estate is located in the scenic main town of Kennebunkport. It has been the family's home for over a century. The estate has had a number of important guests, including Mikhail Gorbachev and Margaret Thatcher. Due to the sensitive nature of the estate, and the frequency of the Bush family's visit, the airspace above the compound is restricted for aircraft. Flying over the home of the first president of the United States is a big no-no. Even aerial photography of the home is rarely allowed. George Washington built his wooden mansion between 1758 and 1778, and it has endured much wear over the years. In an effort to prevent further damage caused by vibration from aircraft, a no-fly zone was established around the airspace above the National Historic Landmark. Restrictions on airspace are sometimes made on a temporary basis especially in places where many people congregate. And perhaps no place attracts larger crowds with more frequency than Walt Disney World and Disneyland resorts. After the September 11 attacks, Disney had a temporary no-fly zone restriction over its Anaheim and Orlando theme parks. The restriction remains in place to this day, although it has faced legal challenges. This base houses the U.S. Navy's Atlantic Fleet Trident nuclear-powered submarines, ballistic and guided missiles submarines, and the Strategic Weapons Facility Atlantic. The naval base function is to maintain, overhaul, and modernize the sub-fleet and its weapon systems. Despite the heavy artillery housed there and a strict no-fly zone, there have been incidents where pilots have violated their airspace, including crashes within the base's borders. This high-security nuclear facility is located 17 miles northeast of Amarillo, Texas. Its mission is to ensure the safety, security, and reliability of the nation's nuclear stockpile. Pantex nuclear facility dismantles excess nukes, keeps tabs on existing ones, and maintains Cold War air missiles. As one might expect, the facility is closed to the public. A presidential retreat and a meeting place for U.S. presidents going back to Franklin D. Roosevelt. Camp David has been a host to presidents' families, visiting dignitaries, and numerous high-profile pacts, including the Camp David Accords, a peace treaty between Egypt and Israel brokered in 1979 by President Jimmy Carter. Due to the high-profile nature of the visitors and activities at Camp David, the airspace around the compound has a three-mile no-fly zone. After the September 11 attacks, the airspace over the nation's capital became some of the most restricted in the world. The FAA and the Department of Homeland Security established concentric no-fly areas around Washington, D.C. The outer ring of this boundary, the Air Defense Identification Zone, requires any aircraft entering to identify themselves. Within that zone is a 15 nautical mile radius around Reagan International Airport called the Flight Restriction Zone. Only governmental, certain scheduled commercial and limited set of wavered flights are allowed in this area. Florida's Space Coast is a popular site for space fans to see rocket launches. Merritt Island houses NASA's Kennedy Space Center and Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Due to military and NASA activities on and around the island, the airspace in the area is restricted for all civilian and commercial air traffic. A spot of nearly empty desert boasts airspace that is more restricted than the nation's capital. The airspace in the area is restricted for all aircraft, military and civilian. Located between California and Nevada, Area 51 has been the stuff of legend and has spawned legions of alien enthusiasts. For example, it is alleged that a recovered alien spaceship was stored there after it crashed in New Mexico in 1947, also known as the infamous Roswell Incident. 